Joe Rogan and Dr. Carl Hart, a renowned psychologist and neuroscientist, delve into Hollywood's misrepresentation of cocaine users. They discuss the real reasons behind the criminalization of drugs like cocaine and opium. Joe then explores the benefits of high-dose marijuana trips, sharing how the intense introspection leads to personal growth and valuable insights. Uh, is the one where people get in trouble. Yes. But I got to tell you, uh, recently I watched uh, uh, Pete Davidson's movie. What was that? The, the King of Staten Island, yes. I think it is. It was the first time in a popular movie where um, the, a hero uh, used cocaine and he was still a hero. So you might remember the scene where Steve Buscemi and uh, I think Bill Burr, they were talking about. I didn't see the movie. Oh, uh, it was a great scene. I heard it was great. A great scene where they were talking about um, Pete's dad and Pete's dad um, had used cocaine previously. And um, Pete didn't know this. And, but it was just a matter of fact. The guy used cocaine. He liked his cocaine. But he was still a good guy. He was a fireman. He was a hero. He was all of these things. And they didn't besmirch him for using cocaine. It's one of the few times that you see in popular culture that somebody uses something like cocaine. And they're not smirch they don't have they don't go down this path of becoming an addict and losing all of their possessions because of the drug yeah and so i thought like they're, they're doing something here that's different and then that was really that was a great scene yeah most of the stereotypes about cocaine in hollywood are you know people using people seedy people people that have no compassion for each other ruthlessly ambitious people doing coke and just all full of themselves and high on themselves and oh, I'm gonna take over this fucking town <laughs> ah! that's what you you hear and see you know yeah um yeah, I hope that changes, man. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I, I would try it with you. Yeah. I would try it. Yeah, all right. Especially listening to you and knowing you probably get the real shit. Yeah. I just, uh, I avoid things that make me confident. I'm not interested in that. I'm confident enough. I'm plenty confident. I like things that scare me. That's why I like marijuana so much. <laughs> I do. I do. People think I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not. I, I, I like the paranoia. I like freaking out because I always come out of it at the other end with some sort of a lesson. Because I think sometimes um, we can shield ourselves from things that are we're really worried about or shield ourselves from concerns that we have or even from ruthlessly introspective thoughts that come with uh, high doses of marijuana. And that's the thing that freaks a lot of people out. I find them very beneficial. Some of the best moments I've had personally.